she is. Look how pretty her pinks are against that black in this lighting. She looks really nice. Um, when I first put her in this enclosure, she started coming to the top after a few days at night a lot and hanging out around the top. And I heard in one of Tom's Big Spiders videos that this species likes it a little bit on the drier side and I think that's true because now that it's dried out she doesn't come to the top nearly as much. Now she likes to hang out underneath the dried rows and she has a lot of little tunnels dug between the skull to and from and she goes back and forth but mainly she's right underneath that dried rose. She loves it. She seems pretty curious but then after she comes and sees that I don't have any food, she pretty much goes right back under the skull like she is now. Don't leave without saying goodbye. Wiggle your butt. Oh, look, she did it. <laughs> She's so cute. I think for the rest of this video, I'm going to show some clips of me trying to feed her. Well, I successfully fed her, but the filming did not go so well. Uh, I think it's not quite as easy as some of these professionals make it seem. Let's have a look. Seriously? Is that all we get? A little roll shake? <sighs> yep, guys, that's all we get. So next time, I think I'm going to try to film from the other side. No, no, Mr. Cricket, you go back over here. No, don't leave. Where are you going? Come back. Just go in the hole. Okay, fine. Go in that hole. Whatever. Okay, so I'm trying to get a little bit smarter here. I'm learning along the way. I decided to get something that does not move quite as fast as those freaking crickets. Hold your horses, little Miss Thing. Come back here. I have something for you. I know you're hungry.
Yay! I'm so glad I finally got a good clip of her reading. But I have a little bit of a confession to make. I am addicted, officially. And I'm up to seven tarantulas now. So make sure that you come back soon to check out my videos about the new ones. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon.